What is up, guys? Game Tuners here once again with a uh, a new season update for Star Wars Battlefront 2 with the solo update for season two. I'm um, just gonna give you guys a quick run through about everything that's coming with the actual actual update itself. Um, not any really new characters necessarily, but a lot of new skins. Um, the first one is for Chewbacca, um, and his is his Vandor heist outfit. Um, he's got the double the double belt going on his chest and the goggles um, looks really cool. Um, yeah, that's actually a really cool outfit. Um, that's forty thousand for that one. He's actually surprisingly actually one of the more cheaper outfits. Um, the other ones, obviously, there's a whole bunch of new Han Solo ones. Um, the Beckett crew, which is just his outfit. He's pretty much wearing almost the entire movie, pretty much. Um, but he's 80,000, really expensive, but also really cool looking. Um, there's also the Corellia Escape as well, but he's all cut up on his face, stuff like that. But also really, really, really cool outfit, and he's also 80,000. Like I said, the, the skins are, in general, pretty expensive. Um, the other character that's got more skins is uh, Lando Calrissian, um, with his Donald Glover look-alike. Um, the professional sportsman, his traditional little yellow outfit he had in the movie. Um, also, 80,000, so like I said, most of these outfits are not on the cheaper side. Um, there's the, I don't even know how the hell do you say that, Ro Rocketeer? I don't even know. I'm going to assume that that's right. Uh, I don't even, <laughs> I've watched the movie twice, and I don't even remember him wearing the outfit. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the outfit he wears like at the very end of the movie where, um, Han Solo actually wins the Millennium Falcon from Lando by cheating the cheater. Um, I'm not sure, you know, the call me to it, but um, yeah, that's also 80,000. So you're gonna be looking to be spending a lot of credits just on on the, all these new outfits. Um, also, there is one new addition, which is the actual Millennium Falcon from the movie, which is Lando's version, which it still has the esca the escape pod attached, even though it gets blown off in the uh, in the actual movie itself um, but also really cool um, I got to play through it with multiplayer it's pretty much the same thing as the regular Millennium Falcon there's nothing really special about it but I mean flying as a Millennium Falcon is pretty awesome um, let's see I know that there is also a new mode as well in multiplayer and um, Kessel is one of the maps. I know that for sure. Operations, perhaps. Yes, it's extraction. Um, I'm just going to do a quick run through of the extraction missions with uh, Kessel. Kessel's a really, really, really cool looking map. Um, you can also play it on um, Showdown as well with Heroes vs. Villains. Um, I've been playing that a lot with my friends, and Kessel's actually a pretty fun map to play on. Um, it's, it's really cool actually going into an actual map that you literally just saw from a movie like a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I just, I think that's really, really, really cool. Alright. There we go. Got a Kessel map finally. Sorry, I had to run through it a couple times actually to get the map of Kessel. But Kessel's actually really cool looking. Um, they pretty much did the exact shot for shot that you got. Pretty much the landing zone of where the actual Millennium Falcon's at from the actual movie, which is actually really cool looking. Um, and Castle's just really cool. And I mean, it's really cool just to actually have that actual visualization of Kessel itself because they always talk about it in the movies and then you never actually see it. And I mean, unless, you know, you read some of the novels or anything like that. But I mean, even then, it was just only a visualization inside your mind. Now they actually brought it to life, which I think is really, really, really cool. Um, and yeah, I would kind of wish you were able to kind of go in the back rooms and actually go inside the actual mines themselves a little bit more. I mean, I'm sure that there is like a, you know, the Galactic Assault version of this map, maybe. I'm not sure off the top of my head. I I don't really play Galactic Assault that much. Um, but, I mean, if, if there is and there's actually a, a, a mode you can actually go deep into the mines, that'd be pretty awesome. Um, but I know that I've been playing on the more smaller versions of this map, and it's still really, really, really cool. The acid actually burns you, which is, I think, a really cool addition, be because, you know, if you roll in the wrong place sometimes, it's just going to mess you up. So I am just going to run through this map. And if I don't do that well, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, yeah, you can actually run through the mines. This is actually my first time actually running through this map besides um, heroes versus villains. Ah, they got me. Oh, I got a kill, though. Dope. Nothing better than a grenade kill, I'll tell you. You get knocked down, and then you're like, oh, nope, you're going with me, son. I just love the colors of this planet too. It's you know like that green, yellow. Just looks, I don't know. It just looks cool. It's just really unique. And I'm a Star Wars nut, so anything new with Star Wars just really makes me happy. You know, I like playing as the Empire usually a lot more, but at the same time, playing as Rebels is nice because you can just pick out Stormtroopers so easily. You know, their big old white obvious armor, it's all clunky looking and all that fun stuff. Sit down some. seconds dude that was cool <laughs> come on going in tight oh, Jesus condensed right here jeez Ah, I should have thrown a fucking grenade. Um, I know with the uh, hero showdown, it's most definitely pretty much condensed to just outside. Um, you can go a little bit inside, but nothing really special. Um, it's most definitely not anything like this. Oh, I fucked that one up good. I should have saved my grenade. That's okay. For the Emperor. I will actually take a rocket trooper over a hey, death trooper any day. I don't, I don't really, kind of really care for the death troopers. What the? Where? Chewie, is that you? Oh, Wookie Warrior got me. What's the plan? I mean, if you play this game a lot more than I do, and you've been stocking up money for a long time, um, then yeah, I mean, you'll probably get these skins not in that much time, but oof, those are just some expensive costumes. Um, um, I'm hoping they kind of do something like they did with the... Um, the Endor and the Hoth outfits, and that was they actually just did challenges and they actually released them all separately, which I thought was really cool. You know, it kind of gave everybody a little bit of a chance. Ah. What's the plan? I'm just glad that Chewbacca's is actually. I mean, it's 40000 which is still crazy expensive. I mean, I don't know why that they make everything so crazy expensive. Because, I mean, if you think about, like, you know, when the game first came out, and, you know, the skins that you actually had to buy, or characters you had to buy, like Luke or Darth Vader or anything like that, those guys were considered to be expensive back then, and those guys were 15000 a piece. So, I mean, it really makes you think of how they've really just upped the prices on skins. And, I mean, that's fine. I mean, that's a really, really, really big selling point. 
Okay, that makes sense. But I know also at E3 they just announced as well that um, the next season is going to feature um, a completely new map as well, which is going to be um, Geonosis with the release of finally flipping General Grievous is going to be in this damn game. I'm so excited. Um, also, um, Count Dooku. Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan have also been announced as well, which is also very, 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 very exciting. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm really, really, really excited for the Geonosis map because, I mean, honestly, I mean, you can't, I mean, Star Wars, I mean, the Clone Wars began on Geonosis, which, I mean, I think that's really, 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 really pinnacle about this. And I'm just really, really, really excited to see see it today, like, actually see what Geonosis, like, you know, because, I mean, the last time we've actually seen a Geonosis map was on, like, actual old Battlefront 2, which, I mean, still, legendary game, but it's going to be really cool to actually see the graphics actually updated, and it's it's really going to look amazing, and there's a guy just chilling up there, okay, good to know. Right with you. This is a scout trooper for this kind of map, but okay. I love that, and you can just hear the, you know, it's wet and, you know, it's a little muddy right there. That just, that's just so cool. Sorry guys, I really can't concentrate while I uh, while I talk. I really can't multitask too much. But um, that was the Kessel map, which is really, really, really cool looking. You actually get to see a lot more than you actually do in the movie, which is actually really, really, really exciting. That looks so weird. The wicked one, because the reflection just looks weird. <laughs> His legs are all bent and stuff. But um, yeah, that's that's all the new stuff for the solo update so far. Um, thanks for watching guys, and um, I'll keep you guys posted and updated with stuff that's going on with Star Wars Battlefront and any updates that are going to be coming out. Um, anything major, you know, like the Genos and stuff that's coming up or anything like that. So um, with that, um, please um, comment, like, share, everything like that. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Could always use more subscribers. And um, with that, I'll see you guys next time on Game Changers. Alright, appreciate it guys.